Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very, very exciting video. I am so excited to be sharing this with you. It is the Women's Gift Guide. So these are all items that you can buy for any woman in your life, whether it be a daughter, a sister, a girlfriend, wife, mum, nan, whoever it might be. These literally span throughout the ages. They are all presents that I literally think any woman in your life will love. This is obviously a follow on from my kids gift guide where I did a baby and toddler version and like a preschooler or young child version as well. So if you haven't seen those, I will link those below for you. And I'm also going to be doing a men's gift guide in the next few weeks as well. So stay tuned for that. These items, they span from anywhere from budget friendly and really, really affordable all the way to luxury and high end. Now the luxury and high end items I don't actually have because they're the ones that are on my Christmas list and they're items I would absolutely love. Obviously I won't be getting all of them, that's for sure. But they're items that I would love Adam to purchase me. We haven't really done presents the last few years and so this year I'm hoping that one or two of these might be underneath the Christmas tree for me. So if you wanna see what those items are, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with all the items I have physically in front of me and then at the end I will then give you like my Christmas wish list of all the things that I want myself. So I'm gonna jump straight in and the first thing that I'm gonna pick up is this one right in front of me and it is this. Now this is a benefit gift set gift box and I absolutely love these. Now I always purchase these every year from Boots. Now I believe this was on offer, I will link everything below for you so you can see it. It was around £30 and the reason why I purchased it is because in here comes a full size of the Bad Girl Bang Mascara which is one of my favourite mascaras a full size of the professional plus a full size of the highbrow and a go-go tin as well. Now for me, I absolutely love those items. They're the benefit items that I use on a daily basis and I'd completely run low. And to purchase them on their own, so in particular the mascara and the primer, they'd actually work out more than 30 odd pounds. So they actually worked out cheaper in one of these gift sets, in a gift tin, and then having all the extras. And what I'm actually going to do, I think, if it works, is peel this bit off and use this gift box as another gift set because I actually have some presents for some other people in my life who I've purchased for today that are benefit. And I think this tin's quite nice to present it in. But like I said, I wanna see if I can open it. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> the top just comes off like that. So in here, obviously you've got all the full size ones and I think it's a really, really cute little addition. Like I said, I love using them. So I think this will be a really, really nice gift if you're looking to give somebody some makeup but you don't really know what they use. These are must have items for me in my makeup collection. Following on from this, I also have um, another person that I need to buy some items for and I just didn't know what to get them and I knew they wanted some makeup. So I picked up this. Now this is a little benefit makeup bag and in here you could basically select out of a range of products and you could pick five products no, I'm lying. You could pick three products for £25, like little miniature versions. And then with that, you also got a free gift bag. They had a stocking version, but I thought this one works better. And what I'm planning to do is the person that I'm planning to gift this to won't actually use... So this comes with a Their Real Benefit lipstick and liner in one. So the person that I'm planning to gift this to, I don't think this will suit them very well. So I'm actually planning to take that out of theirs and gift them one of the items from the gift box or maybe one or two of them. Then it also comes with, I selected a Roller Lash Benefit Mascara and also a Dandelion um, blush as well, which I think is really cute. And then like I said, it comes in this really cute gift bag. So I think they're going to love that. And likewise, you can also buy additional. So I purchased this as well. This is a little concealer and you can literally purchase whatever you want and then stick it in. And I think that's a really nice way to gift a present. And for 25 pounds is really, really reasonable. Again, this was all um, via Boots. I don't know if they do the same offer in other shops, but these are the offers. And I always find Boots for benefit work out really, really well. They always do loads of good fab sets. You get boots points on them and things like that. Okay, so the next item that I have is this and it is a molten brown gift bag and set. And I personally picked these out. So I'm gonna undo it for you and show you what I've got. But in here, it was basically, you could pick up three travel size items for 23 pounds, I think it was. And I love these. So if any of you guys haven't watched me before, you will know I absolutely love rhubarb. Like rhubarb is just one of those scents that I am obsessed with. I use the Wild Rhubarb Method Cleaner and I'm obsessed with the Rhubarb and Rose Hand Soap from Hand Soap Hand Lotion from Molten Brown. And that's what inspired this. So 
This is the Rhubarb and Rose hand cream and it smells so, so good. Like I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. Following on from that, I also picked up the Molten Brown Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Bath and Shower Gel. And I think I'm actually going to use this for myself. Somebody else told me, it was one of my followers that told me they did it in a shower gel and I never ever knew it. So I'm going to try that out. And I also picked up the Rhubarb and Rose Liquid Hand Wash. And I think this is just going to be something I'm going to give to Adam to give to me for Christmas because I've picked it up now and it was on my Christmas list but I just think it'd be a really good gift for anyone else to gift to somebody else as well and it comes with this really nice little gift bag here so as well as being kind of like inside this one it comes with this gift bag here so you can pop them all inside and then gift it to somebody on Christmas day and I think for 20 odd pounds again they were really reasonable you can pick up it's like a pick and mix section a mix and match so you could literally pick up any scent and there was like um I think it was called like fire pepper or something like that scent which I tried in the hand lotion but it had a really deep scent to it but they have like oud, they had elderflower, they had orange and bergamot which I tried and they actually gave me a sample off funny enough as like a little freebie but yeah I just think that on Christmas day to receive a present like this you can draw string it up you could tie it into a really nice bow. And I just think that would be a really, really lovely present to gift to somebody and then obviously popping it in the bag. Now, the next item I'm gonna share with you, I am obsessed with. So, I have basically loved a company for ages called Hampton Astley. And if you've watched my cleaning videos, you will know I'm a long time lover of them. My love first started with their bath towels, which are so soft and luxurious. They then brought out a bedding range, which was just as soft and luxurious. And then they brought out a candle range and you would have probably seen me mention this a couple of weeks ago over on my Instagram if you follow me over there. However, they sent me four of their candles. I'm going to tell you the candles they sent me. So the scents they sent me were, they sent me bergamot, rose and lavender, lion basil and mandarin, berries, peach and bergamot and coral flower and hyacinth. And oh my gosh, their candles are amazing. To the point that I only received them a couple of weeks ago and I've almost burnt through two where I've had them on all the time. So Hampton Nassie are kindly sponsoring this video today, but I think their items and these candles are the perfect Christmas present. So their packaging is just to die for. I mean, they just look absolutely stunning for starters. I'm so in love with how they look. They look so luxurious. They've got the simple, elegant white packaging along with loads of rose gold detailing. And it's like the blushy rose gold too, which I absolutely love. Obviously it's got their brand and logos on it. And then they have, like I said, they've got the four cents. And I'm actually going to be purchasing some more of these myself to gift out to people because they are that amazing. They're that lovely. They look so good. So like I said, once you open them up, they come all plastic sealed. And then you open it up like so. Oh my God, I can smell it from here. I think this is the lime basil and mandarin. I haven't actually smelt this one yet. Oh no, it's not. Coral flower and hyacinth. Oh my God, I didn't even think, like when I ranked them in order, I thought, mm, I'm not quite sure what this one's gonna smell like. And out of all the ones that I wanted to try, this kind of ranked fourth on my list. But I think this is actually my favorite smell to date, but it's so stunning. As you can see, it has like this really luxurious packaging. All of the lid is engraved as well, which is so stunning. It kind of has that sort of look to it that would go in any sort of household, any sort of design. So you haven't got to worry about that. And it's just so, so elegant. Now, these to buy are $44.99. And I believe they're a 30cl size. I believe that's how they work in CLs. I don't actually, is it centiliter? Is that what that stands for? I think it might be. But they're a 30cl size. They are so stunning. They're $44.99 to buy. However, Hampton Astley have been so, so kind and they're actually giving you guys 50% off. So if you want to buy one of these, if you use the code Ellis, you can actually get 50% off. So I will leave all the links below in the description box for you so you can go on over and check them out. But these are just gonna make a stunning gift. And to be honest, I have loved everything Hampton Astley. I am a massive advocate of them. I actively promote them and share them with you guys because I love them so much. And I think this will make a fab gift for any woman in your life. Okay, so the next item I've spoken about really, really briefly before on my channel, and I think I included it in an Amazon favourites video, but it is this, and I think Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year to give this present. It is a Q&A a day. There's 365 questions in here. You have five years, and there's eight, 1,825, so 1,825 answers, and it's basically a five-year journal. I love it. It's like gold down the side. 
and basically you can answer the questions each year every year this is the second one of these that i've had and basically there are things like what was the last thing you baked or cooked who is your best friend what's the next book you want to read write the first sentence of your autobiography who do you want to know better and there's just basically questions and each year obviously you answer that question and you can just see how your answers change each year it is not very expensive at all like i said i picked it up off amazon and i think this is a really cute sentimental gift that people can use for years to come okay now the next one is another gift to myself however i would definitely gift this and have gifted this present many times over to people in my life and it's an item from MAC. Now, there's not much in here. It's pretty much an empty bag, but the present that I'm gonna be talking to you about today is lipstick. It is one of my favorites. I'd recently just repurchased this lipstick and Clayton last week decided he was gonna use it to draw all over the Christmas storage boxes. I lost three lipsticks in that fun game that he played whilst he was sleeping and I was absolutely gutted. So I had to go back out and repurchase it for myself. And if any of you guys know me, you will know which one it is. It is this little beauty here, which is a Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy has been a long lover of mine for many years now. A friend recommended it to me years ago. I remember seeing her with it on her lips. And I was like, what is that? And ever since I've been so in love, it is the most gorgeous nude shade in like the whole entire world. I don't think you can get a better nude, especially for this time of year as well. It is just stunning. I'm so excited to have another one of these as well. It is just so stunning. I love how it looks. Look at that. So, so pretty. It's such a gorgeous shade. So if you're looking to buy somebody some makeup and you're looking for something a bit more high end, maybe try Velvet Teddy. I bought this in the full size. However, they also do like little miniature versions, which I believe are 10 pound. So if you're really not sure what they're gonna like, maybe pick up a couple of shades or just pick up the one and it can be like a little mini stocking fill up. But I think this is a great present for anyone. Okay, so again, I haven't gone OTT in this place this year and I'm quite surprised and shocked with myself because normally every year I spend so much money in here. But the next item that I'm going to recommend to you, and I've got these again for quite a few people in my life, is going to Lush. Now, I am obsessed with Lush bath bombs, and I have picked up this one here. The packaging this year is really, really cute as well. I haven't seen this packaging before. You could do a variety of options. So normally what I do is I buy a pre-made gift set. They're really reasonable in price, and they come with loads of different bath bombs bath soap, shower gels and all things like that. The other option that I saw they were doing this year, which I've never seen before, and it may be just because I haven't spoken to anyone when I've gone in there, I've always just done my own thing, is they actually let you make a pre-made tray. So basically, or you can make your own tray. So there's a tray of four and you can actually pick out your own four and then have it gift wrapped for you. So it's a really personable service and design, which I thought was really great. Or you can do what I'm doing and just pick up little individual ones to gift to people as well, which I just think is really, really lovely. These are super cheap. They're good as stocking fillers. They're good to bulk out presents, which is what I'm using them for. And the one that I've got here is a candy cane one. It smells so good. I wanna see if it says what scents are in it. There's bergamot oil, lemon oil, and that's all I can gather from that. <laughs> but it is a really, really lovely scent. It's in a candy cane style, so it looks like a red and white candy cane, which I thought was very festive, and I think it's gonna be a great little addition to my presents. Okay, so another one that I probably included in an Amazon favorites video or something like that before is this. I didn't buy a new one, this is just my one, but it is a wet brush. I am obsessed with the wet brush. I have used it for years now. Again, I think these are great stocking fillers. If you need a brush, these are 10 times better than the Tangle Teasers or anything like that. If you know a woman in your life who'd like a new hairbrush or you think they might need a treat or something nice to do to the hair, then try them out with a wet brush. They're around 10, 15 pounds. So they can be quite pricey for a brush, but they are 100% worth it. You can get them in Boots, Amazon. Ugh, it's flying away, it's gone. But you can get them in a variety of places, but I would 100% recommend if you're looking for anything like that, anything little to bulk out their items, that you think they might like, a wet brush is definitely the way to go. Okay, so the next item that I wanted to talk to you about are pajamas. You cannot go wrong with some cozy PJs. And this year I've gone for some from Next. I'm actually wearing these myself. They're like my Christmas pajamas, but I think anyone would love them for Christmas. And it's these ones, they're like the Grinch ones, and they say, Merry whatever, I think they are so, so cute. I wanna see if I can move them back for you. This one is like a really oversized t-shirt, which I absolutely love. They were from Next, they were 26 pounds, and here are the shorts. And the shorts are super cute as well. They've got these really, really adorable like candy canes on them, which I think are really, really lovely. And I love Next pajamas. 
So if you're looking for somewhere that's really reasonable in price for pyjamas, I would definitely recommend checking out Next and also Boo Avenue. I love, love, love Boo Avenue pyjamas. So definitely recommend checking them out as well. Okay, so this leads me on to a couple of items that I haven't managed to physically get my hands on that were kind of related in the same sort of area. And they would firstly be slippers. Every woman loves a new pair of slippers. And for me, my go-to slippers are Ugg slippers. I could show you my ones, but they're a bit battered now. And I was waiting for a new one to come through, but I haven't managed to get them in time. But Ugg slippers are so amazing or anything like that. They're so soft, luxurious, and they're really, really reasonable. They are more of a high-end item, but again, they're not extortionate in price. They are a lot of money for a pair of slippers. But if you're looking to really treat somebody in your life, then I'm sure they would love some slippers like that. And the next item that I wanted to speak to you about was a dressing gown. Now, I'm gonna insert a few shots of the ones I have. I actually saw one that was perfect, and it was from Morrison's, and I believe it was like 18 pounds, and I saw it the other day. I went to go back two days later, and they'd completely sold out, because my Morrison's is tiny and doesn't actually have a women's clothing section so I was gutted and then I saw one in next and I went to go and pick that one up and they didn't have my size in store either then I went to go and pick one up from Marks and Spencer's same thing so hopefully I mean that's all my Christmas lift a new a new dressing gown from Adam so hopefully he'll manage to pick me up one from somewhere but I'll insert a few links to the ones that I'd seen below so you can go on over and check them out because a new dressing gown is just so snuggly and warm and I just think again every woman loves a dressing gown okay so the next item I'm going to be sharing with you that I think another woman in your life would absolutely love is a diary now the diary that I have I only recently purchased and I think this would be a really good gift I actually purchased it from HomeSense and HomeSense do the most amazing range of planners and diaries and things like that and my one actually has like a full year view it has month views has a daily weekly view as well and I think that's great it has a note section a dress book section and I'm one of these people that likes everything in one place just for work kids children and everything like that so again I think my one was around $7.99 or something like that it wasn't expensive and I'll do some over shots so you can see what it looks like but I absolutely love my planner and I think that if you're looking for somebody in your life who's organized or loves organizing or anything like that or you think might need to be a bit more organized then I definitely recommend purchasing them a planner and the next item that I would recommend for anyone over the age of 18 is a bottle of bubbles or anything Prosecco or gin based. That's basically what I wrote down. For me, if it's gin based, it has to be pink gin or rhubarb gin. I'm not a fan of just like plain normal gin. Or if not, like I said, a bottle of Prosecco. You just cannot go wrong. My current favourite is the I Heart Prosecco, which I believe you can get in Tesco's, Morrison's. Uh, Sainsbury's as well and at full price it's around £8.50 on offer £6.50 £7 and it's always on offer in one of those I've noticed so when one of them's not on offer when one place isn't on offer the other place has it on offer so it's always a good idea to shop around I love this one and one that is very very similar but looks a lot more extravagant and looks as though it costs a lot more money I'm going to say it's called Frixen A I believe that's how you pronounce it and I'll insert a little clip of what the bottle actually looks like but it is so, so stunning. It's like this crystallized bottle and it looks so expensive. And I believe at full price, it's 12 pounds. So if you're really looking to treat somebody, it tastes very similar to this bottle. It has such a lovely taste to it. I would definitely recommend that. And going forward with kind of like the alcohol stuff, Prosecco Pong is also another great thing. And like gin flavorings and all things like that. I think a really good additional little socking fillers or little gifts that you can give to people that don't cost a fortune, but are a really nice, thoughtful present. Okay, so now I have a few items that either I have already that I think people would absolutely love, or items that I would absolutely love to receive myself. So for anyone out there who is a mum or who loves cleaning or anything like that, the next item that I would recommend would be a shark hoover and a cordless one at that. I know it sounds so random, but I have loved cordless hoovers for about four or five years now, since I had my very first Dyson hoover. And I recently upgraded to a shark corded hoover. And then I also recently upgraded from that to a shark cordless hoover. And honestly, it is amazing. It is life changing. If anyone suffers with back problems or there's lots of flights of stairs or anything like that, this will be a dream come true. I use my shark hoover all the time. I cannot recommend it enough. Again, it is quite a pricey present, so it depends obviously what your budget is. If there's a few of you, you can maybe all go in on it for like your mum or something like that. You could buy it for your wife or your sister or whoever it may be. Um, but I know this is a present that if Adam bought me a hoover, I would absolutely love it. But that's just me because I'm obsessed with cleaning. But yeah, 
I mean, I have the Hoover, so I don't need it, but it would be definitely something that I'd want somebody to buy for me. The next item that I'm going to recommend is an electric wax melter. Electric wax melter. I think it's an electric wax melter. And again, I love these. They're really quick, convenient. You don't have to go through a gazillion tea lights and things like that. So I would definitely recommend them. I picked up a really, really nice one from Home Bargains. And there's also a couple of amazing ones. One, again, didn't arrive in time for this video, but I've just ordered for my own home and I think it's absolutely stunning. And so I'm gonna link it below for you, but it is just, it, I mean, it's gonna go perfectly with my living room. And I think it's gonna be perfect for the boys not to touch as well. So I'm hoping that will arrive soon but yeah a wax melter and some wax melts again a really cheap affordable present that will 100% go down well okay so the next item is some perfume you cannot go wrong with perfume at all I have worked for a company called the perfume shop many many years ago and ever since I worked there when I left school when I was 16 I was obsessed I worked there for a couple of years and since then I cannot take my love away from perfumes there are so many different ones out there I love so many from um, Chanel so Coco Mademoiselle is one of my favorites I also love Chanel Chant them two are probably my favourites out of those. Miss Dior, I absolutely love. There's quite a few Gucci ones I love, so I love Gucci Guilty. I think it's Gucci Envy, I want to say. Don't know, Gucci Flora is another one that I love. Hugo Boss Orange, like there's lighter ones for the summer. Then obviously in a world of their own, you have the Jo Malone scents as well. So I personally, what are some of my favourites? Penny and Blush Suede, I absolutely love. I'm trying to think, I had quite a few. I'll see if I can find them. I might insert some shots of some of my favourite ones because they're upstairs at the moment, but some of them I had for my wedding. I just love them. English Pear and Freesia is another really good one. Wood Sage, Sea Salt, Lime and Sage. Oh, I don't know, I'm getting my head confused with all the different candles and stuff as well. Honestly, I have so many scents going through my head, but Jo Malone is a really, really good one. However, if some of you guys aren't really sure what your woman will love in your life, then there is a gift set that Jo Loves does. Now, Jo Loves is basically a company that's owned by Jo Malone, and Jo Malone actually sold her company on. And Jo Loves do like this little gift set as such, whereby, and I remember we did these in the perfume shop of different branded ones, so you could always go to a perfume shop and try one of those. But if you were looking for something along the lines of the Jo Malone type scents, Jo Loves then brought out a whole new range of fragrances pretty similar to the Jo Malone. They look very similar with a little bit of different branding. And basically you get to have a selection box of different scents arrive, you get to test them, and then there's a voucher inside, one full size bottle of any of the scents that you decide to choose. So I think that makes a really nice gift. And then it's not putting all the pressure on you either as to what scent you think they might like. Okay, so the next item that I'm really, really hoping to receive this year, and I think it's just gonna make my life really, really easy, is the Style Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner. I think that's its official name. Again, I'll link it below for you. But it's basically like a little electric machine and you pop your makeup brushes in and it basically cleans and dries them in seconds. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm one of these people that uses makeup brushes all the time and then never gets around to cleaning them and that's really, really, really bad. I can't remember the last time I cleaned my makeup brushes, which is awful. For someone that's such a clean freak, makeup brushes are just one of the things that I don't get around to doing because it's the cleaning time and then it's the drying time and everything else that comes with it. So this does it all for you and I absolutely love it. Again, I'll link it all below for you. I believe that Boots sell it, but when I went in there today to try and pick one up for myself for Christmas so that Adam could wrap it and they didn't have any in store, so it might be an online exclusive only. But again, I think it's another amazing present for any of those women in your life that wear makeup and use makeup brushes. And going on from that, I use them all the time, but they're the Real Techniques makeup brushes. I absolutely love Real Technique makeup brushes. And I also like the iconic London ones as well. So if you're looking for some more makeup brushes in your life, I would definitely recommend you checking out those because they're a really, really good, affordable makeup brushes. Okay, so I'm coming down to my final few items now. And these are the luxury items. And I'm hoping that Adam might purchase me one of these potentially for Christmas. He may not. And I'm putting a disclaimer out there. These have actually been on my list now for about five years or so. Not all of them five years. One of them has been on the list for five years. One of them a year or so the other one about two three years and we just haven't had the money to be able to afford them we're in a different position this year and we've got a little bit more money in the bank but 
we might not decide to do presents this year even still and um, they're kind of always on my wish list and whenever anybody asks me what I want I always say well I'd love these items if you could kind of all group together but every year the same things happen they get left on the list because I just don't get around to buying them because we don't have the money but I'm going to share them with you anyways so the first item that is on my wish list and has been for quite a few years is a Monica Vinader ring. I am obsessed with Monica Vinader jewellery. I haven't gotten around to purchasing any of it for myself because the boy is more important and all that jazz, but I'm sure any woman in your life will love it. Again, I will insert a screenshot of the ring that I am absolutely obsessed with and have been for such a long time now. Um, I would love it if Adam purchased me this ring. I don't actually think he'd know my ring size because I've changed so many times over the years. However, I would love that ring. Um, it's just one of my favorite, favorite rings. Again, it is a little bit more on the more expensive side of these items, but it is one of the cheaper items I'm going to be sharing with you out of my kind of luxury high-end items. The next item that I'm absolutely obsessed with, and again, have been for years, I feel like it's a staple that I could use year after year, is a Louis Vuitton Logo Mania scarf. Now, again, I have loved this scarf for as long as I can remember. In. it's like a grey scarf with like the Louis Vuitton logo it's really really subtle and I do wear scarves but I find they bobble quite a bit they bobble really easily and I just feel like having a nice high-end scarf will set off a piece really really nicely so that is another item that I would love for Christmas this year and one very last item that I'm adding to my list of things that I would love are some Alexander McQueen trainers. Now it was a toss up between these and the Gucci ones and I've loved the Gucci ones for so many years as well. And I wouldn't be disappointed if somebody purchased me the Gucci ones, that's for sure. However, the Alexander McQueen's have like this really nice metallic silver and my sister's actually just got on a pair and they're absolutely stunning. They're really, really simple and elegant, and I'm always on the hunt for new trainers, so I would absolutely love a pair of those too, if I would be as lucky to get a nice Christmas present like that. But if you were looking for like some more lavish, extravagant, extraordinary presents to get, then I would definitely recommend those for the people in your life. Okay guys, well that is everything in my women's gift guide. I hope you've enjoyed hearing not only the presents that I have purchased for other people and that I would recommend for you to buy, but also the presents that I want this year as well. I am really, really excited for Christmas this year. And like I said, I may not end up with any presents. Me and Adam might decide to just push our money away because we're hoping to have another trip away this year, just us two. Last year we did the Maldives and we didn't do Christmas presents, but the Maldives was like a massive present in itself. Um, and we might do the same this year but we might have a few littler presents I don't know I'm clueless but if you're hoping to buy some presents for somebody I hope this video has helped you if you've liked this video I would love for you to like this video if you are not new to my channel then thank you so much for coming back and watching another video if you are new then I would love it for you to subscribe and I will see you all again in another video very shortly bye guys